Let's talk about number 16, Oklahoma, beating Cincinnati 20 to 6. That was the big noon game. I'm going to start with this. I don't give a damn what the offense did, and the offense was fine. One great is fine. You know what I care about? Oklahoma has given up 34 points in four games. 34. It's looking like a Brent Venable defense down there, guys. It's looking like they can st- not just stop people. They can turn people over. Danny Stutzman is a dude. 13 and a half tackles, thir- three and a half tackles for loss. Had the really what ended the game in a play. The Sooners have picked off seven interceptions in two games. Those boys are flying around and playing a little bit of ball. So much so that the offense can be as so-so as it was today, because by Oklahoma standards, it wasn't great. And you can still win by two touchdowns without scoring just 20 points. Now, I see that Cincinnati ain't that good, but Cincinnati's a Power 5 team now. This is what it means to play Power 5 football. And now Oklahoma's sitting at 4-0 and in a conference that's still pretty damn good, and it's looking like, you know, Big 12 of old. We thought maybe the new teams would have something to say about Oklahoma and Texas, and maybe they still might, right? Season's still very young. We're not even at a half tight, halfway point yet, but nobody right now is going to dismiss Oklahoma and Texas playing twice this year. Once in the Cotton Bowl and once in the Big 12 championship, and if you aren't paying attention, one of those teams ends up in the college football playoff again. Well, I say again, be again for Oklahoma. It'd be the first time for Texas, because, you know, they virgins like that. They ain't never, they ain't never done that. They ain't never... It, you can win a Big 12 championship, you just can't make college football playoff. I don't know how many people forget that or not, but somehow people want to keep talking to me about 49-0 and forget that Oklahoma's made the college football playoff three times, won six out of seven Big 12 championships, got off to its 17th 4-0 start in 20 years. It's almost like Oklahoma's the damn standard around here. So that's all I'm saying. But you know what? Don't mind Oklahoma. Don't mind a program that is outscoring opponents 187 to 34. Don't mind in Oklahoma that has decided to put a lid on the end zone. Cincinnati had the ball 14 times. You know how many touchdowns you scored? Zero. Not die. Zero. Zip. Like the jersey number you see around all the time now. Goose eggs. That's what I'm talking about. Kind of stowed up. Run it. Hey, by the way, uh, Oklahoma has been to the state of Ohio twice since 2017. Each time, W's. Ohio State and Cincinnati. Okay? Okay? Telling y'all. Telling y'all. Don't mind Oklahoma. Don't pay no attention to Oklahoma. Tell us all your flyover state jokes. Make jokes about them absolute hardest, hardest dudes walking in the western part of this state. That panhandle, that kid. I saw a sign out there that said, What's in this part? Talk about the Panhandle, Oklahoma. And I said, the toughest sons of guns on earth. I worked out there one summer. You ain't worked about no hogs, have you? You ain't worked about no hogs and no Somalis, have you? Uh-huh. You ain't met them dudes from Guyman coming up to Boy State, giving you the what for. I'm telling you, man, all we do is make them hard, nasty, and mean down here. Yeah, ain't nothing to do in Oklahoma. Ain't nothing to do but lift and play football. You don't think this means something to you? You gonna learn. You gonna learn.